Hi there. We are going to show you in this instructional video how to update multis, quattros, and inverters with VEBUS. Keep in mind that this update will reset any user defined settings to default. If you would like to keep the current settings, then you would first have to use VEConfigure to read out and save the settings. Before we start, you will have to write down the number of your MultiPlus. You can find that number on top of the module, right here. Ask your Victron representative for the latest firmware version and make sure to give him that number. Go to our webpage at victronenergy.com. Navigate to support. And click on software. Click on VE configuration tools and install the program. It's important that your device is connected to a battery, otherwise the update will fail. Make sure to disconnect all accessories such as remote panels and the VE bus BMS. Connect the MK2 USB to your computer. Connect the RJ45 UTP cable to the MK2. Connect the other end of the cable to the VE bus port of the device. If you are updating a three-phase or a parallel installation, then you can just connect to one of the devices. Make sure that all the devices are switched off except the one that you want to update. When the cable is connected, run VE Flash. Always use the latest version of VE Flash. It will automatically check online for updates at startup. Now click on Start. Select Update the Firmware and click Next. The program is giving you a warning that the update will reset any user-defined settings to default. If you want to keep the current settings, please quit VE Flash and first save the current settings with the VE Configure tool. Click Next. Browse to the saved firmware and select the right file. The first four digits of the firmware file should be exactly the same as the first four digits of the firmware version in your device. Click Next. Make sure that the steps listed are followed. Click Next. Once selected, the program can detect automatically the COM port you need. Click Next. Now it's very important to follow these steps at the right order. Click Next. Switch on the device you want to update. Click Next. If all the previous steps have been correctly followed, then the program should be ready to update. Your screen will show that the firmware is programming. Once it's finished, press OK. It's that easy to update your MultiPlus. If you are updating a three-phase or a parallel installation, then update each unit separately. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please contact your Victron representative.